Crock-Pot Sweet and Sour Chicken. Only five ingredients. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo Banks 12. Hello, everyone. I found this one when I was poking around on Pinterest. And I had everything I needed to make it in my pantry. So here it is. That is one half cup of drained canned pineapple. You can use crushed, or in this case, I'm just using cut up rings. That's what I had. One half cup of chili sauce and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And you can omit those or just put more or less to taste. You'll also need one cup of apricot jam. Now I only had three quarters of a cup left in that jar. So what I did is I just topped it up to one cup by adding a little bit of pineapple juice. Add that to the mixture and then just give it a good stir. And that's all there is to it. A very quick and easy sauce. Now prepare your crock pot by adding two pounds of chopped up chicken. This is actually a combination of chicken breast pieces as well as some boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I had in the freezer. You can use whatever you'd like. You could even use pork in this recipe. Then pour the sauce on top of the chicken. And I just kind of poked around a little bit just to make sure the sauce made it all the way to the bottom and all the chicken was coated. Then you cover it and you're gonna cook it on high for about four hours or on low for about six hours. And that is all there is to it. I gave mine a stir about halfway through the cooking time because I happened to be home the day that I made this, but you don't certainly have to. The best thing about this recipe is that it uses ingredients that you may already have in your pantry or refrigerator. Throw it together before you go to work or go to school. And when you get home, all you have to do is whip up some white rice, serve it on the top, and then maybe add some steamed vegetables on the side. Quick and easy crock pot sweet and sour chicken. Hope you give it a try. I have quite a few chicken recipes on my channel. I've grouped them all together in a chicken playlist. If you want to see this, check out the link in the description box or check out my channel for all the playlists that I have there. And one of those recipes on that playlist are these chicken cakes. It's a great way to use up leftover chicken. Thanks for watching.